today's lecture this is a functional analysis and i will be proving this ray's lemma okay this is the ray's lemma proof now here is the statement of ray's lemma let y be a proper closed linear space of a non linear space x over a field k let 0 less than alpha alpha less than 1 so here alpha lies between 0 and 1 then there exists x alpha belonging to x such that norm of x alpha norm of this x alpha is equal to 1 and infimum of y belonging to y norm of x alpha minus y is greater than or equal to alpha so this statement you'll have to know next i'll turn the page Let's start with the proof. So, say let y is be the subset of x. Okay, let y is a subset of x. Then second step is therefore x minus y is not equal to zero. Okay, therefore x minus y is not equal to zero. Then what I'll have to put let x not belonging to this x minus y bring one element x not and see it belongs to x minus y and let this be fixed and arbitrary let this be fixed and arbitrary okay after that an infimum y belonging to y norm of this x not minus y i will take is equal to d then d is greater than 0 Now, since alpha is less than one, in the statement, what I said, alpha is less than one, right? So, since alpha is less than one, and d is less than d upon alpha, therefore there exists y not belonging to y such that zero less than or equal to norm of x not minus y not less than d upon alpha. Now what I'll do is take let define this x alpha as what is equal to x not minus y not upon norm of x not minus y not, where norm of this x alpha is equal to what one, and I think it's given from the statement norm of x alpha is equal to one. Okay. Now, now uh, norm of x alpha minus y. now i will take from this statement norm of x alpha minus y okay is equal to what i'll just interchange this okay y minus x alpha now this is equal to what norm of y minus what is x alpha x not minus y not upon norm of x not minus y not now what i'll do is i will take the i will multiply this i will take it here this okay i will multiply with this then minus this upon this so for that what i'll do i'll take this outside so this is equal to 1 upon norm of x not minus y not i have taken it outside then it was down i have multiplied with this norm of x norm of norm of x not minus y not into y minus x not minus y not Okay, this I have taken it up, then this, and then this part will I have taken it outside. Okay, now here this part is greater than or equal to d. Norm of x not minus y not into y minus x not minus y not is greater than or equal to d. Norm of this, okay, and norm of y minus x alpha is greater than what? Now this part I have taken, and then. This is d right here, this part. And what about x not minus y not? From the statement, x not minus y not is less than or equal to d upon alpha. But this is one upon x not minus, so it will be alpha upon d. So I have put alpha upon d. Therefore, norm of this. Is what this is less than or equal to sorry greater than or equal to alpha. 
for all y belonging to y. Therefore, in femur of y belonging to y, no more y minus x alpha is greater than or equal to alpha. Therefore, in femur of y belonging to y, norm of x alpha minus y is greater than or equal to alpha. Now, what I have just interchanged this part okay, here, and this is from where? From here. And finally, I got this. In femur of y belonging to y, norm of x alpha minus y is greater than or equal to alpha. And I hope you all have understood this step, especially this step where your DD get cancelled. And I hope you all have understood why your, this alpha upon D comes here because of this. It was what? D upon alpha. But this is 1 upon norm of x naught minus y naught. So it will be alpha upon D. Okay. And then DD get cancelled and then finally we will get this. So I end up my lecture here. Thanks for watching.